Well, one recently released report by the Obama administration claims that Obamacare will bring costs down. But in other reviews, well, it claims they won't. In fact, premiums could triple. Dr. Gina Loudon is a political analyst, and she joins us live to help us break some of this down. Dr. Loudon, great to see you. Great to be here. So, Thank you. I mean, here's the thinking. that This whole program is predicated on the notion that if there's competition, that prices will come down. That's how competition works. If you have 53 different choices for your insurance coverage, as the HHS report says that we will, your premium will come down. Where do you see the fuzzy math, as you said, as you call it? Well, it is fuzzy math. All of these estimates are based on pure speculation. They don't really have any numbers because never before has something been done like this. We all know this was a 2,000-page bill that nobody even read. So the reality is that no one really knows what's going to happen here. And even a former Congressional Budget Office director said, we're, we're, basing, we're guessing based on our guesses of our speculations. This is purely fuzzy math. Nancy Pelosi famously said, we have to pass the bill to find out what's in the bill. It seems as though she was only half right. We actually have to implement the bill to find out how it's going to work. Mm -hmm. But HHS, the uh, Health and Human Services Department, did just put out their survey and their findings, which say that in 36 states, they believe premiums will go down. It seems as though it's geographic in terms of whether you'll be paying more or less. Well, and this is held up against their guesses from before. I mean, these are still guesses. We really have no idea. But if you just do basic math, most people can do this, and they can go, okay, we're going to have more people covered. We're suddenly swallowing up seven, you know, seven million new people uh, that that have never been insured before. We are uh, putting them all into one big pot. Obama says this is going to be better coverage. More people plus better coverage equals lower prices. I don't know how that happens. And worse, this is on the backs of young people. Without the young people being in this, the young healthy people in the pool, the program will totally fall in on itself. It will collapse. So they're they're putting all these costs, about 300 uh, percent increases on young people. Certainly for young people. Forbes magazine did an assessment of all of this uh, in contrast to what HHS did in their report. Here's what Forbes found 27-year-olds, young people, will face rate increases as high as 279%, Forbes found. They also said that 40-year-olds in some locations will face rate increases as high as 305%. Now, meanwhile, HHS says that they've found that premiums will be 16% lower than originally predicted. So it's hard to know if there's good news somewhere or if it's all um, bad news. Right, and we know that we can always trust these agencies because the IRS and the NSA and the SE, they've always been so trustworthy, right? So I'm picking I'm sure up your sarcasm. Can, <laughs> this, is, this is not making sense. And, and the real question, it comes down to really simple things that I think we can ask ourselves. Why are only 2.9% of federal bureaucrats even wanting to opt in to Obamacare? I mean, you have to ask yourself, these are the people that wrote this, that understand it. If anyone in the whole country understands it, hopefully it's them, and they want nothing to do with it. The American public doesn't want anything to do with it. We're in some serious trouble here. We will see what happens on October 1st. <laughs> uh, Dr. Gina Loudon, thanks so much thanks for, for having me. Your perspective. Up next